A 500 watt electrical signal is transmitted through a wire with a total resistance of 10 ohms. Calculate the, to the nearest watt the power loss to heat if the voltage of the wire is 240 volts. Which of course is, uh, as we know, the mains voltage. So, uh, what equation do we use? Well, if we want to figure out the power loss, then we need to know the current, right? So how do we figure out the current? I equals P on V, where P is our uh, 500 watts. So, our current's going to be 500 over 240 volts, or 2.08 amperes. Now, to find the total power loss, we need to apply this equation to the uh, resistance and use our equation for power lost in a system. That's I squared R. So substituting in 2.08 and 10 ohms for R, we have 2.08 squared times 10. If we use a calculator, we can evaluate this. We can see already that it's going to be uh, a little bit more than 4 for 2.08 squared times 10. So we should get a number that's around 40. In fact, uh, to the closest watt, it's 43 watts. All right, so now let's uh, take our signal and step it up to a very high voltage. Let's say 11,000 volts, which is about the voltage of very uh, high voltage transmission lines that go very long distances. All right, so in this case, what's the current? Uh, we can use the same equation. Our voltage is different, but the power will be the same. So this time it'll be 500 watts over 11,000 volts, which will give us just 0 0.0454545 amperes, but we can round it off to about 0 0.0455. All right, so now that we have the current, we can use our equation for power loss in order to figure out exactly how much energy is radiated. Power loss equals I squared R. We can substitute an I and R to get 0 0.0455 squared times 10. Now what happens when you square a very small number, a number that's less than one? Well, it gets even smaller. So that means that this figure here will be even tinier than uh, its current value. But what if it was already its current value? Uh, if this was already a square number, and if we multiply it by 10, we'll get 0 0.4 watts, which to the nearest watt is zero. But in fact, we're getting an even tinier number here. And so if we, square, if we take that even tinier number and multiply it by 10, then it's not even gonna get up to 0 0.4. So to the closest watt, it is in fact zero power loss. In reality, it is uh, a very small amount of watts, uh, about 1 20th of a watt or something like that. But for all practical purposes, we're losing far less energy than when we ran it through this voltage. In fact, in this case, 43 watts is almost 10% of the original signal, which means that we're losing a huge amount of energy. Whereas uh, in the case of 11,000 volts, we lose almost none of it. So that's the end of part two. And in section three, we'll be looking at uh, more mathematical questions and we'll be starting to extend the length of our questions a bit.